When Elon Musk moved Tesla's headquarters from California to Texas, it marked more than just a corporate relocation. It signaled a seismic shift in America's tech landscape. During a recent interview, Musk revealed something striking. California's governor, Gavin Newsom, never reached out to keep Tesla in the state. No phone call, no dinner invitation, no attempt to preserve thousands of jobs and billions in economic impact. This silence would prove costly. Tesla's departure was just the beginning. SpaceX and X, formerly Twitter, would soon follow, dealing a devastating blow to California's economy. But today's story goes deeper than a simple corporate exodus. It's about political retribution, economic consequences, and the growing tension between America's largest state and one of its most influential entrepreneurs. The latest flashpoint? The California Coastal Commission's controversial decision to reject SpaceX's request for additional rocket launches. A move that appears less about aerospace concerns and more about settling political scores. With Musk's unprecedented $119 million support for Donald Trump's campaign, the stakes in this power struggle have never been higher. From Silicon Valley to the Lone Star State, from rocket launches to regulatory battles, this is the story of how America's most innovative entrepreneur and its most populous state became locked in a contest that could reshape the future of both. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, let's dive right in. The impact of Elon Musk's corporate exodus from California echoes through the empty halls of SpaceX's Hawthorne headquarters. In these same corridors where 7,000 employees once rushed to build humanity's path to the stars, an eerie quiet has begun to settle. The facility that represented 16% of Hawthorne's workforce, more than five times larger than the city school district, stands as a monument to what happens when politics and innovation collide. One former SpaceX engineer, Sarah Chen, remembers the day the announcement came. We'd heard rumors, but nobody wanted to believe it, she recalls. This wasn't just a workplace, it was where we were building the future. Sarah's story mirrors thousands of others, their lives intertwined with California's aerospace destiny. But just as this story seemed headed toward a predictable ending of corporate flight and economic decline, an unexpected player emerged from the shadows, the United States military. In a twist that nobody saw coming, the Pentagon's interest in SpaceX's Starship program has opened a back door for the company's return to California, albeit under circumstances that would have seemed impossible just months ago. The scene at Starship's latest test flight in Texas painted this new reality in stark relief. There stood President-elect Donald Trump, his presence casting long shadows across the launch pad, flanked by Space Force Chief of Operations, General Chance Saltzman, and Elon Musk. The unusual trio watched as humanity's largest rocket pierced the Texas sky. But what the cameras didn't capture were the hushed conversations happening behind the scenes. Conversations that would reshape the future of American space power. Deep within the Pentagon's corridors of power, military strategists had been crafting an audacious plan. Documents obtained through defense industry sources reveal the full scope of their ambition. To operate Starship not as a commercial venture, but as a government-owned weapon system. This isn't just about launching satellites. It's about transforming how America projects power across the globe. The military's vision reads like science fiction, but it's rapidly becoming reality. Picture this. A crisis erupts in a distant corner of the world. Instead of waiting 10 hours for a C-17 cargo plane to deliver crucial supplies, a Starship rocket skyward from Vandenberg Space Force Base. 30 minutes later, it touches down precisely where needed, carrying 70 tons of critical cargo. This isn't speculation. It's already in the advanced planning stages. Here's where the story takes another unexpected turn. California's Coastal Commission, which had effectively banned commercial SpaceX launches, has no jurisdiction over military operations at Vandenberg. The very same rocket they deemed too risky for commercial use could soon be launching regularly from California soil, just under a different flag. It's a political irony that wouldn't be lost on Musk. The numbers behind this transformation are staggering. Traditional space launches cost around $900 per pound with current technology. Starship promises to slash that to $90, with Musk claiming it could eventually drop to an almost unbelievable $9 per pound. 
This isn't just about cost savings. It's about rewriting the rules of global military response. But this story has another layer, one that touches on personal dreams and national security. In a previously unreported meeting at Vandenberg, a senior military official laid out the stakes. China is watching everything we do in space, he warned. Every launch, every capability we develop, they're studying it all. Recent RAND Corporation studies confirm this assessment, showing China's increasing aggression in space and diminishing willingness to communicate during crises. The human cost of this transformation is written in the lives of thousands of California aerospace workers. Maria Rodriguez, a second-generation aerospace technician whose father worked on the space shuttle, now faces an uncertain future. My family has been building rockets in California for two generations, she says. Now we're watching it all move to Texas. Yet even as SpaceX's commercial operations leave California, the company's influence lingers in unexpected ways. Over 50 startups have emerged from former SpaceX employees, creating a new innovation ecosystem. These companies, ranging from satellite manufacturers to advanced propulsion developers, represent the seeds of California's aerospace renaissance. The story of SpaceX in California is also a story of transformation. When the company first arrived in Hawthorne, they took over an abandoned aerospace building, a relic of California's faded glory days. Under Musk's leadership, it became the world's highest volume rocket producer. Similarly, Tesla's Fremont factory rose from the ashes of a shuttered GM plant to become America's most productive car factory, producing an astounding 560,000 vehicles annually. Now, as Texas celebrates its growing aerospace sector, California faces a moment of reckoning. The state that once led the world in aerospace innovation finds itself at a crossroads. The same Starship rockets that California's politicians rejected might soon launch from their soil, not as symbols of private enterprise, but as instruments of military power. The Pentagon's interest comes with its own complications. Military officials are already grappling with the challenges of operating such advanced technology. Previous attempts at military space programs, like the ill-fated Rocket Cargo Project of 2021, serve as sobering reminders of what can go wrong when government bureaucracy meets cutting-edge innovation. As this drama unfolds, the stakes continue to rise. SpaceX's ambitious plans call for a fleet of 1,000 starships, launching at frequencies that would have seemed impossible just years ago. Their massive star factory in Texas grows larger by the day, while launch towers rise in both Texas and Florida. Each development raises new questions about California's future role in the space economy. The latest twist came during a closed-door Senate briefing, where military officials outlined plans for a classified satellite network called StarShield. This system, designed to be launched exclusively by Starship, would transform America's military surveillance capabilities. The irony? Many of these critical launches would need to occur from Vandenberg, the very location where California officials had tried to restrict SpaceX's operations. This convergence of military necessity and political reality creates an unprecedented situation. California, having pushed away one of its most innovative companies, might soon find itself hosting an even more powerful version of SpaceX, one aligned with national defense priorities rather than commercial interests. It's a transformation that raises profound questions about the relationship between private innovation and government power. As the sun sets over Vandenberg's launch pads, the future remains uncertain. Will military contracts and government-operated rockets replace the innovation ecosystem that SpaceX built? Can California reclaim its role as a leader in aerospace innovation, or will it become merely a launch site for military space operations? The answers to these questions will shape not just California's future, but America's position in the new space race. One thing remains clear. The story of SpaceX California and the military's ambitious plans is far from over. As new launch towers rise and political battles continue, the next chapter in this complex saga is just beginning to unfold. As this complex story unfolds, one thing becomes crystal clear. The future of American space power lies at the intersection of private innovation and military necessity. While California's political decisions may have driven SpaceX's commercial operations to Texas, the Pentagon's ambitious plans could bring Starship back to the Golden State in an unprecedented way. This transformation, from commercial innovator to military asset, 
represents more than just a change in ownership. It's a powerful reminder that in the high-stakes world of aerospace, the lines between private enterprise and national security are increasingly blurred. The question now isn't whether Starship will launch from California, but under whose flag and at what cost to American innovation. As we continue to track this developing story, the implications for both California's economic future and America's military capabilities remain profound. If you want to stay updated on this evolving situation and get the latest insights about Elon Musk's ventures, hit that subscribe button and join our Elon Musk 24-hour community. Share your thoughts about California's aerospace future in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you found this analysis valuable. Until next time, keep watching as history unfolds before our eyes. When Elon Musk first announced plans to build the largest rocket in human history, skeptics said it would take decades. SpaceX proved them wrong. Not only did they get Starship off the ground in just a few years, but they've now achieved something remarkable, launching two successful flights just one month apart. Flight 6 shattered records and demonstrated SpaceX's relentless pace of innovation. Now as we prepare for Flight 7, NASA has just revealed the official launch date that could mark the next giant leap in spacecraft development. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your source for the latest breakthrough developments in space exploration. Let's dive right in. In the wake of Flight 6, the atmosphere at SpaceX's Starbase was electric. Engineers huddled around monitors, analyzing data from what appeared to be both a triumph and a wake-up call. While celebration filled the air after achieving the fastest turnaround between flights and Starship's history, a deeper story was unfolding behind the scenes. The Super Heavy Booster's return phase revealed the first dramatic twist. As millions watched live, the massive rocket, taller than the Statue of Liberty, began its descent toward the Gulf of Mexico rather than attempting the planned tower catch. In mission control, a tense silence fell as controllers detected a critical communication misalignment between the booster and launch tower systems. Years of preparation had led to this moment, and now they faced a split-second decision that would echo through the program's future. Flight control, switching to contingency protocol alpha, came the calm voice over the comm system. The booster executed a perfect splashdown, creating a spectacular water landing that, while safe, highlighted the razor-thin margins between success and failure in space exploration. In the following days, as teams retrieved data recorders from the Gulf, they discovered something unexpected. The communication issue stemmed from a previously unknown interaction between the tower's advanced guidance systems and the Gulf Coast's unique weather patterns. The drama didn't end there. The Starship upper stage, carrying the hopes of future Mars missions, completed its primary objectives flawlessly. As it began its descent toward the Indian Ocean, everything seemed nominal. Then in a heart-stopping moment, radar contact was lost. When visual confirmation finally came through, the spacecraft had exploded on impact. A reminder of the brutal physics involved in bringing a vehicle of this size back from orbital velocities. But at